tutorial series we're going to talk about uh, WordPress forms so we're going to start with basics uh, as to how to deal with forms uh, what are different types of labels and uh, how to store that information in the database and how to uh, you know display that information back uh, on your site so it'll be all about WordPress forms how the post uh, type works and uh, how is actually it is stored in a database so let's begin then so I'm into my uh, 2017 WordPress default theme and in the root folder of my theme I'm going to create uh, another directory called WordPress forms or just form okay and inside of this directory I'm going to create a template file and uh, let's name it as um, WordPress form okay and uh, basically as you all know in order for you to create a template in WordPress uh, all you have to do is just one second <coughs> write template name I'm just gonna zoom in, in so you can see clearly so it's template and then space name and we'll name it as uh, let's say WordPress form okay so that's fine let's save it and what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and create a page and you go to pages add new into my WordPress backend dashboard and let's say the page name is custom form okay and let's select a template once you've created a template it doesn't matter what is the name of the file that you've chosen over here inside of your directory uh, as long as you have this code written over here this header in the header which is template name whatever name you're going to give over here is the same name that you're going to get in the template uh, so you can select what forms what will happen is that when you do this then um, this page will display whatever content you have on this particular file okay all of this code will be available on the WordPress github uh, my github accounts so you don't have to worry about writing it all uh, but if you want to follow along and just type it and do it along with me you can always pause the video and, and do it along with me okay so on this page let's first get the header which is the default header and let's get the footer okay let's close this over here the reason I'm closing this is because I'll be writing some HTML over here and that's the reason I'm closing it and I'm going to use get footer okay so now if you go and check uh, this particular page you will notice that this is your page and whatever you do on this template will be visible over here on this particular page my custom form okay so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and create a form say form uh, and we'll put the action to nothing which means the um, whatever value put over here is where the form is submitted so since I'm keeping that uh, blank it will be submitted on the same page okay and um, then the method will be post so as we all know there are two types of method when it's post and second is get post is a secure form of uh, uh, you know posting the data okay so let's go ahead and create some input fields I've already created one to save time so I'm just gonna copy that because I don't want the video to be too long okay so what we've done is this is a label for user hobby uh, name is name of the label is hobby so so basically we're going to create two input fields one is for getting the users hobby uh, information and second is users age uh, as well okay so there are two input fields input id is equal to user hobby type is equal to text so this is the text part of input type of input field uh, the name is the user hobby and then let's get rid of this for now we don't need this okay so the two input field and then you have the input field type is equal to submit so for the submit button a name is submit value is submit and this is basically our form okay so let's go ahead and refresh the page and you can clearly see you've got 
hobby uh, and age and these are two input fields with the submit button as well so this is basically your pretty much your form okay and if I want to go ahead and check what's inside of it all I can do is just do a war dump and then dollar underscore post let's print it print or and if you refresh the page sure enough you will get an empty array because I haven't really saved anything over here okay so let's save something over here so let's say hobby my hobby is probably um, poetry and age 28 submit it and sure enough you can see that in the user hobby which is basically the input name okay the input name is user hobby so so dollar underscore uh, post uh, user hobby will give you this value dollar underscore post uh, user age will give you this value okay so all we're going to do is basically go ahead and say if is set post submit so dollar underscore post submit is basically this name right here okay so if this is set which means if the user has submitted the form then go ahead and let's test it test let's see if the form is submitted and you can see test which means the form is submitted and that's why you have this value as test okay great so what we're going to do is basically uh, get these values as well so we'll have these values basically this input field will be dollar underscore post user hobby and this value will be dollar underscore post um, user age i have already stored that information save time i'm just going to go ahead and use that so what we're doing over here basically is uh, we are checking if not empty which means if this has the value uh, dollar underscore post user hobby has the value and um, then go ahead and uh, store the value of hobby into uh, the hobby variable okay uh, but do the sanitized text field so this for security purposes we do the sanitization uh, before we feed anything into the database okay so that's, that's what happens okay and then age basically will be um, going ahead and giving you the um, value of age from the input field and then we are using int wall int wall function is a PHP function basically it goes ahead and uh, makes sure that it's a non integer value okay uh, so it's for validation and absent uh, sorry uh, absent is the one which gives you the non integer value and int wall is the one will always give you a num numeric value okay so if you're saying that if this has the value then set this is equal to whatever value user has entered otherwise set this is equal to default as empty okay great so now if I go ahead and echo it out echo hobby echo age and if I go ahead and save it and refresh the page sure enough I've got poetry and 28 which is what I entered last time okay great so um, in the next video we're gonna so in this video you learn how to go ahead and uh, you know create a form and submit the form and in the next video we're going to learn how to store that information in the database